Hey everybody, this is Bloody Hatchets, and I am back with a restaurant tutorial. This one here is going to be on Burger King. This will also include the dumpster area, the menu board, and the drive through. This will also include the dining room interior, and also the kitchen. And for the ones that don't know, I work here in real life, so I took some pictures so you guys can really compare it. So here's the front of the building, the side of the building, the drive through lane, and the back of the building. So hopefully you guys enjoy this tutorial, and let's get this started. Alright guys, let's go ahead and do this. I'm going to do the foundation first, and this is going to be the main entrance. We're going to have another entrance right over there, but we're going to start out right here, guys. What I'm going to do is place two stone right here. Now, this is going to be the doorway. So, place two stone right there, then take your brown concrete powder and go one, two, three, just on the right of the doorway, just like that. Now, turn to your right and place two more right there and turn this way and you need to place one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five twenty six and twenty seven right there then turn to the right and go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten this is going to be the back door, so I'm going to place a stone block right there for the doorway. And then again with this, we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14 right there. Now let's turn to the right of that, and we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And right here, what we're going to do is place the acacia plank right there. Then we're going to skip two spaces and go ahead and place your bond concrete powder right there. And then go ahead and place your acacia right there. And then go again with your brown concrete powder. Go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15 right there. Next, take your acacia plank, place one there, and then skip two more spaces and put your brown concrete powder, then your acacia there, and that will be one drive through window there and the second drive through window there. So we're going to take this, and we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18 right there. Now we're going to turn to the right of that, and we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15 right there. Now, for the second entrance over here on the side, we're going to place the acacia planks, two of them right there, and then take your red concrete or red wool, whatever you guys want, place one right there, then your stone block right there for your doorway, and then take your red block of choice, go one, two, three, four, just like that. Now turn to the right and go 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Just like that. And yes, this is a little bit uneven, but that's exactly how it is in the picture. And remember, guys, I work there, so I know exactly how it is. Now, right here, we're going to take the acacia and replace 2 right there. And then, again, with the brown concrete powder, we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8 right there. Now with the acacia plants, we're going to place three just like this, and now we're back to the front. Alright guys, now come to the front of the building right here where we first started, and let's take the acacia planks. Six more blocks, so that's one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now once you've got that, come to the right of it right over here, and we're going to do the same thing. So that's one, two, three four, five, and six. Alright, now what we're going to do is take the acacia wood slab and place on top of here. 
go ahead and drag it on across and connect it on this side just like that and then what we're going to do is we're going to place the acacia slabs right here but i'm going to place this here just to show you a little bit easier so i'm going to come up one two and in the third block right there i'm going to take this slab and place it right there so it's two blocks in the on the third one place the slab right there just like that I take that slab on a cross like this and then just go ahead and fill this in so it's one two three four you should end up with four just like that and now guys come inside of here with your slab and just we'll come back later and we'll put lights in there but right here we're gonna put the black stained glass all right, now go ahead and get your door of choice. I'm going to use the oak door. I really don't like the color of it, but it does have the windows in the door, and that's exactly how they are in real life. So I'm going to use those for that purpose, and I'm going to take the wood acacia stairs. I'm going to go upside down over the doors like this here, and then I'm going to go ahead and take this acacia and then place it above the windows just like that. And now for your lighting. You're going to need glowstone and iron trap door. Come right inside of here and look up and knock these two out right here just like that. Alright. So you have these knocked out and then we're going to take the iron trap doors and place two of them right there. And on top of that we're going to place the glowstone just like that. So now from the front, especially at night time, looks nice. Alright guys, this next step looks a little bit weird in Minecraft, but you can look at the picture. It is exactly like this in real life. So we're going to take the brown concrete powder. We're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Just like that. We're going to do 4 tall. So that's one layer. Here's the second layer. The third layer. And the fourth layer. Just like that. And then now we're going to take the sand. And we're going to do the same 4 layers until we get to the top of this. And we're going to go ahead and drag it all the way down to the end of this building. So this is one layer. Two layers. Three layers. And the last layer right here. Alright, now let's go ahead and put a window right here. And we're going to use the black stained glass panes. We're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then go ahead and make that two blocks tall. Just like this. And now what we're going to do is take the sand. And come up 1, 2, 3, and 4. And then we're going to go ahead and continue it on down this way. Just like this. Now once you've got that, go ahead and take your iron trap doors. And place it off of the window. What I'm talking about, don't put it on the sand because we're going to need to place the iron bars up there and it won't place right here. So make sure you place it one block down from the sand so you can do that and then place the iron bars just like this. Now take the iron bars right here and we're going to do the same technique. So we're going to place it here, iron bars right there, and we're going to go 10 total with these iron trap doors. We're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Just like that. Make it, go ahead and make it 9. Just like that. And let's go ahead and count 1, 2, 3. The fourth one, we're going to place iron bars right there. And we're going to go 1, 2, 3. And the fourth one, place iron bars just like that. Alright guys, now let's do the corner right here. We're going to go ahead and take your acacia six blocks and it's going to match up with that one there so one two three four five and six do another row right here just like that and now we're going to go ahead and take your red block and we're going to come up one two three just like that then take your black stained glass panes and go one two three and then take your red block of choice and come up one two and three like that and go ahead and connect it up right here and then take your glass and put your glass in here just like this. Alright, now we're going to take your acacia and go on top of this red here and we're going to go ahead and match it up like this here. And then take your 
acacia wood slabs and place them right on top of there and now let's go ahead and take the iron trap doors remember place it off of the glass here and then take your iron bars and place just like that all right now let's go ahead and take the iron bars and place two more right there and place your iron bars just like that now let's turn on this side here we're going to take your red block of choice come up one two and three we're going to take our door place your door of choice inside like this I'm using the oak again because it's got the glass in the door and then I'm going to take the red and come up just like that and then right here I'm going to place a full block of the black stained glass just like that guys now take your acacia and come up so you get even with this so I'm just going to go ahead and fill this in real quick and then place your acacia slabs on top of that all right now let's take the iron trap door and let's go on top of here and let's just go right here and drag it on across just like that and take your iron bars we'll place one here one here and there's really not a middle point so you guys don't have to place one on this side all right now let's go ahead and do this side here what we're going to do first is take the sand and come up one, two, three, just like that. Take your glass, go one, two, three. Then take your black block of choice. I'm going to use black concrete. I'm going to place one there. Take your glass, one, two, three. Again, with your black, place right there. Then your glass, one, two, three. And now go ahead and take your sand and go one two three four all right now let's go ahead and do another layer of your black and do another layer of your glass and then what we're going to do is take the sand and go on top of that so your sand right here just come up one two three just like that all right now take your iron trap doors and we're going to do the same thing place it off of the glass go ahead and carry it all the way down to right there then go ahead and take your iron bars and place one there one there and I guess I'm gonna go ahead and place one right there all right now let's go ahead and do the lights it's on top of the building and we're gonna use the block of redstone for this I'm gonna come up right behind this here go ahead and take that on down all the way to the other end just like this here and we're gonna take the red stained glass panes and place right here in front of that redstone block now let's take the red carpet and go on top of the glass just like this and now take the snow and do a layer of snow on top of your redstone block now let's turn over on this side and let's do the same thing so the redstone block we're going to come up behind it like this put the snow on top of that put your glass and then your red carpet on top of that now let's go right over here and do it one more time we're going to carry this all the way down until you have one block like this and then you're gonna take your glass like this and then do the same thing with your snow on top of your redstone block and then your carpet on top of your glass 
hopefully you guys do enjoy this tutorial and again let me know down below what you guys think of this build I've been wanting to do it for a long time since I know exactly how this building is in real life so this is what you guys should have so far alright now let's go ahead and come to the back of the building here with the back door and now let's go ahead and take the sand and do a layer of one two three and four let's go ahead and match it up to this now right here we're gonna take the sandstone stair and place it like that then we're gonna take the sandstone slab and place just like this and right here is gonna be the back door I'm gonna choose the jungle because that's the color of a back door in real life and place your sand there your slab there and then we're just gonna go ahead and continue this wall on down there's really not too much back here on the back of the building so just go ahead and fill all this in with your sand and then put your sandstone half slab on top just like this here Alright now the back of the building right here there's actually a little pump that we use for our freezer that's on the other side of this wall so I'm going to use the anisite and I'm going to place the uh, iron pressure plate on top of there with the cobblestone wall here and then I'm just going to go ahead and put an iron bar right there again that's for the freezer on the inside and now let's go ahead and come to this side here we're going to take the sand and we're going to continue the sand on up just like this take this half slab come across like this and then with this acacia we're going to come up with six so one two three four five and six same with this on top of here we're going to place the slabs Alright, now right here for the first drive through window, we're going to place the full block of the black stained glass. And then the sliding part of the window, we're going to simulate it by making a different color. We're going to use the white and place the panes right there to make it look like it slides open. And then we're just going to take this acacia and we're going to fill this on up right here. Alright, now let's take the iron trap doors let's go a block up so we're gonna place it right here like this here and then we're gonna take the iron bars and place just like that alright so now let's go ahead and continue right here and we're gonna have another window there so we're gonna just fill this middle part in with sand so let's go ahead and take the sand real quick and come over to here and let's just go ahead and match it up is what we've done on the other side of that window and again we're going to place the sandstone half slabs on top of the sand so you should have this here and now go ahead and take your sand sandstone half slab and come across just like this and now let's go ahead and take the acacia again we're going to come up by six so one two three four five and six bring that across and this drive through window is the second one this is the one that you actually get your food at over there the first one is where you pay for it and this is where you get your food so the the window is actually a little bit different now I'm gonna make it exactly how it is in real life so the full block glass should go on this side and the sliding part goes on this side again it's opposite from that one and let's go ahead and fill this in right here and let's take the iron trap doors again do the same thing and don't forget to put your acacia half slap on top of there alright guys now let's go ahead and put the windows right here now before we do that I kinda wanna note that you should have four blocks of sand right here and this side is only gonna be a total of three 
Yes, I know it's uneven and it may not look right, but I'm going from real life. And yeah, so I'm just going to try to make this look as close as possible in real life. So you should have three blocks right there with your sand and then you're gonna take your black stained glass panes and do three there do your black block of choice do another set of three with your windows another black block another set of three of your windows and you should end up with this here so now let's go ahead and take the sand and do one two three four should end up with right there now let's go ahead and take this on up these windows are gonna be two blocks tall like what we've been doing so go ahead and bring all this up real quick just like this and there we go so now let's go ahead and take the sand and take the sand on top of these windows just like this guys and then now let's go ahead and take this redstone block which looks pretty cool actually because it illuminates it looks like that it's actually a neon light that's what I'm going for and now let's go ahead and take the snow layers and do one layer on top of the redstone block and then now let's take the red stained glass panes and let's place it right here and now let's go ahead and finish this off by taking the red carpet on top of this red glass all right very nice now let's go ahead and take the iron trap doors and the iron bars and let's place it off the window something like this and we're gonna take it all the way down to right there now we're gonna place an iron bar there go to this end iron bar there and then right here on the black parts just like that well, alright guys now let's go and add a little bit more detail little things like where I hook up my water hose to spray up the parking lot so I'm gonna place it right there that's where I hook it up at in real life and let's go ahead and take the cauldron and place it right here at the front entrance with a wood trap door on top that will be a garbage can and let's go ahead and take a quartz stair like that place a flower pot on top and that's where people place their cigarette butts at so once you've got that let's go ahead and come right down here you should go ahead and place a button right here you should end up with three blocks of sand right here this button right here in real life is where the oil man comes and he'll hook up his oil truck right there to pump out the old oil out of the fire vats right up here is a camera so I'm gonna place a stone button right there to simulate a camera and right down here is the doorbell for the back door alright now let's go ahead and take the stone slab now in real life this would actually be a very dark color like a black but I think this is alright to use on this part here a small exception I guess so we're gonna take it on down to this end here just like that again that's just a curb so the cars don't hit the building and right here is a little advertisement thing that we put you know advertisements and signs on again that's a a bumper as well so just place your red block right there alright guys now let's go ahead and do the roof on this I'm gonna be using the diorite on the roof only because I've been on this roof so many times and it has the white rubber on this roof so I'm gonna use the dingy looking color of the diorite on here so up here I'm gonna come down just like this and I'm gonna fill the entire roof in with this block here now right here where we have the redstone blocks we're gonna hide the backs of them with the stone brick stairs like this now in real life this is like a panel that we pull up to check the lights in the neon it's like a neon lights these are here that shine from the front of the building so this is like a panel again and it kinda hides all the stuff as well so I'm gonna do that there and over here I'm gonna do the same thing with the stairs like this and go ahead and carry them all the way down again guys I'm trying to make this build 
is close as possible. Really trying to make it realistic. All right, so come around just like that to hide all that up. And again, with your diorite, we're just gonna go ahead and fill the entire roof in. And normally when I do roofs, I usually do them either with like a stone slab or maybe even a dark roof. Uh, but I'm going to use this white rubber roof on this one here. And once you fill all this in, then take your light gray carpet. And you're going to texture this deer right and just go all over the place because we're going to have to use the carpet later on anyways. So just kind of blend all this in and just kind of texture it and just do random all over. Like this right here, as you see, I went ahead and took the carpet and randomly placed it all over to texture it and I also done the stone pressure plates I put five up here don't want too many of those now I'm up on this roof all of the time and I know that there are four AC units so I'm just gonna go ahead and come right here and I'm gonna place the first AC unit again guys this really doesn't matter if you guys are just wanting it to be a random building but again, I'm making this as close as possible. So place two of them right there. And then we're going to have two of them over here. And then the last one is going to be right here. Just like that. Now up here on these... These are short ones, so I'm going to put the rails like this. And then this one here, this is a tall one. So I'm going to make it a double like this. Put the fan guard on top. I'm going to place ladders across here. Like this. This one here is also is a big one, but it has a thing right here. I'm going to use a dropper to place like that because it's got a programmer thing on there. And, yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and put one over here as well. So, I'm just going to go ahead and crotch place this rail into that just like that. And with this slider, I'm going to crotch place it off of there just like that. So, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to place the ladder there. And then... I'm going to take the rail, go on top of here like this, and you guys pretty much get the idea of what I'm going to be doing up here. Just kind of putting AC units and things like that. This here's a short one. I'm just going to do this here. And we have an exhaust right here for our grill. We have another exhaust right here because we have this one over our bathrooms and we have another one right here for our other bathroom we have two bathrooms so that's the exhaust for that and right over here in this corner is where our um our radio for our our satellite radio that's what it is so it comes up like this and then i'm going to put a brewing stand right there for the antenna for the satellite radio all right now i'm going to take cobblestone wall come out a couple here and then this one I'm gonna come out one right there alright guys I'm gonna go ahead and put a few web off of this exhaust because there's always some sort of smoke coming out of this in real life so I'm just gonna do that now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and do the sidewalk so on the back of the building here I'm going to use stone and I'm just going to go ahead and fill all this in all the way on the back. I'm going to fill all that in there and the front of the building here is going to be a little bit weird. I know it's going to look not that great but it's going to stop right there like this. All this is going to be the sidewalk going that way to the back. Well, this part is not going to look all that great in Minecraft, but trust me guys, this here is like a tile, and it's kind of like a reddish, dark red color, so I'm going to use the nether brick on this, 
you guys can continue your sidewalk whatever material you guys want but like I said I'm gonna try to keep this close as possible in real life so I'm gonna continue this another brick all the way down this side now this side of the building here is got this kind of another brick uh, sidewalk now the other side has got like a concrete sidewalk so let's go ahead and count some blocks here so off of this here I want one two three four five six seven eight nine all right and then I'm gonna go inwards by one two three like this and then I'm gonna go inwards again one two three four five six seven all right now once you have this here go ahead and fill this in also and this continues going that way as well so I'm gonna go ahead and fill this in real quick to right here and right here guys is gonna be a flagpole but we'll get to that in just a second let's go ahead and finish filling this another brick sidewalk in right here and right here while we're at it I'm gonna take this stone slab I'm just gonna go like that there that will continue going that way later on alright now let's go ahead and take this another brick and let's count some blocks to help you out right off this corner I'm gonna go one two three like that alright now you should have a total of three blocks here total of three blocks here and with your sidewalk down here it's total of three blocks as well so just go ahead and fill this in real quick while we're at it and then we'll go ahead and go down there and do our flagpole now there's different ways you can do a flagpole I'm going to show you the easiest easiest way I'm just going to use probably a cobblestone wall and come up do something simple so there we go and if you're following along trying to make it exactly like I am kind of help you out here so again it's going to be one two three right here off of that corner and then I'm going to come like this I'm gonna three it's one row two row three row four row and five row right here go diagonal one and then do three here diagonal one do three here diagonal three here just make a circle like this and go ahead and fill this in now that center block I'm gonna use the uh, polished anisite that's where our flag is gonna be so let's go ahead and fill this in real quick alright guys now let's go ahead and do our flag pull right here cobblestone wall come up with 18 so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen just like that now let's go ahead and take the blue wool one block down from the top and do two now once you got that go ahead and take your red wool do one there a white and then a red alright so now I'm gonna make this kinda waving in the wind so I'm just gonna do something simple like this now once you've got that guys I'm gonna come back inwards something like that there and now I'm gonna kinda go diagonal but I'm gonna go downwards a block like this
Alright guys, so now let's go ahead and do the back of the building back here where we have the garbage can area, the dumpster and the storage area here in the corner. So if we come out the back door right here, I'm going to be using the stone for the sidewalk. I'm going to come right here where the door is. We have the three that we already have here. We're going to go one, two, three, and then go next to it right there, and then do two. And then another the same. I'm just going to pretty much carry this on down like this. You guys can pause the video right there if you really want to make it exactly how I have it. Now, I'm going to take this block here, which is a brown concrete powder. I'm going to do one layer right here. And I'm going to skip these two here where the sidewalk is. I'm going to take this one here. And this is one, two, three, four five six seven eight nine ten right here and over here we're gonna count these this is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen and seventeen right there now go left of that go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve right there now what we're gonna do is put these doors on the front of here there's two sets of doors and we're going to go ahead and take the oak planks and the oak slabs. We're going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And right here we're going to come up with the brown concrete powder, just one right there. And then right here we're just going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven right there. Now inside of here, what we're going to do is take the green concrete powder. You guys can also use the green concrete or the green wool. Also even use blue. Sometimes these dumpsters are blue. But anyways, I'm going to come inside of here like this here. Now we're one block from that. And we're going to come up one, two, three, four, five. And going this way is one, two, three. So I'm just going to quickly make this dumpster like this. two blocks tall and back here I have the cobblestone wall because the garbage man when he puts this in here he needs some sort of uh, safety barrier so it doesn't hit this wall back here which is going to be sand so if, when we come in here we have the sand wall it's going to be one two three four five five blocks long and right here is where the employees set at. It's a little smoking area. So one, two, three, f right there, a little bench area. And right here is the uh, storage building. So I'm going to do two blocks there, skip a space for the door. I'm going to put the iron door like this because it's always locked. And then I'm going to have three here. And then go to the right. One, two, three, four, five, six. And it's coming along quite nice. Now I'm going to take the sand and do a layer right here. And I'm going to go all the way around this brown concrete powder. Just like this here. And I'm going to come up one, two. Yeah, a total of two more blocks. So I'm just going to go ahead and do two more layers. over here as well and you guys might not even want to make yours exactly like mine but I want this to be exactly like it is in real life you guys might might actually enjoy that part of it I don't know let me know down below if you guys, guys actually care if it's realistic or not so right here I'm gonna go ahead and come up like this so now we have this here, and I'm going to take this white concrete, like this here, put all this in, and again this is like a little storage building. And what I'm going to do right here is take the quartz slab and go across here, because there's kind of like a trim on the building, like this. And on the top of here I'm going to put the stone brick slabs, like this here, it's just a little flat roof, little storage 
uh, like a shed type building is all it is really. You guys can also go inside of here since you could look in. You could do like some shoving in here if you guys want to. A little something like this here. Just have a little shelving area for boxes and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? So let's go ahead and get out of here and repair this back up. Alright, now with this dumpster what we're going to do is take the dark wood slab because it's a very dark color. You can also use black carpet if you want to. Just put a top on there like that. And I'm going to go ahead and put a couple cauldrons in here for some trash cans that we have out back. And right here, I'm going to go ahead and continue this up with the oak planks. Just like that. And right here, I'm going to go ahead and grab the sand. And then go ahead and continue this oak like this here. And to kind of separate it up a little bit, I'm going to go ahead and put the slabs right on top of here like this. Two double doors. Alright, now back here, I'm going to go back and forth with the stone and the anisite because again, this is the dumpster area. There's a lot of garbage and wear and tear, a lot of chemicals and scrubbing and things like that. All kinds of stuff I do every morning back here scrubbing this area up so I have a lot of spots that look a little bit like this kind of messed up looking so it kind of stops about right here and then I'm gonna take the stone and just go ahead and fill the rest of us in real quick alright so now we have it all filled in and it looks really good now let's go ahead and do the inside of the building real quick so let's go ahead and go in the entrance right here. And take a look at this guys. I went ahead and done the inside of it. And I'm going to do a small little tour. And you guys can do this for yourself. Now if you would like for a better interior tutorial. I will do it. Just let me know down below. And I will do a better interior for you guys. I just kind of want to show you what I have so far. Because this is a real life building I actually work here. So how everything is, is exactly how it is in real life. So over here we have the drink machine. Put cauldrons in the ceiling with the light coming through from outside. For some uh, kind of hidden light. Here's got a drink machine and down there is the drain for it I guess you would say. With some cabinets and stuff up under. And here I done just a little booth area for setting. Up here I got just some simple lighting by the windows. I think it looks pretty good. Got carpet on all of these here. This is a big flat screen TV. There's two of them out in the dining room. And actually whenever we're out here and we don't have no customers, we'll sit and watch TV when we're back here behind the counter. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. So when we're on break also, we can sit out here and watch TV too. So we got another TV there. Got the garbage cans here and some, you know, more sitting area around here like this. Now this is a little design that is actually there in real life with some uh, glass panes I used. And yeah, so let's go ahead and go on this side here, which... There's another garbage can. Now coming through this way, this is behind the counter. And this is the men's restroom here. And this is the women's restroom. So let's go ahead and go in the women's restroom. And I've done something real simple in here. Just put two uh, toilets in there with the mirror there, the sink, and the garbage can. Again, very simple, but I think it works. Now the men's room, I have a handicap stall here with the toilet. And this is supposed to be a urinal. If you guys can make a better urinal, let me know. And yeah, so very simple. Uh, coming in the back here, we have the menu board right here, which I use bookshelves. Now, 
back here guys before we go any further I want to tell you that there's gonna be a lot of this color blocks there's a lot of stainless steel in restaurants so the ones that actually been in the back of a restaurant or know how restaurants are you'll know what I'm talking about there's a lot of stainless a lot of gray color silver metal looking stuff everywhere so there's gonna be a lot of that here is a uh, the front counter with the registers and we have a little safe there Here's a little cooler and this is like the icy machine like slushies and stuff We have coke ices and stuff like that here at Burger King and here is the second drive through window here With the cash register there and the drink machine the tea urns and everything there right here we have the drive through side um monitor for the drive drive through orders and this side the right side here is for the front counter so we have workers standing up here expediting putting stuff in the bags where they go so that's how that works here is a uh, sink area and I didn't want to use cauldrons because the sink area in restaurants are a lot bigger than regular sinks so I just done this and this is a hand washing area with some coolers and stuff like that there this is the drive through side where we make hamburgers and sandwiches and stuff and this screen here is for the drive through now there's a screen over here on this side now this screen is for the front counter so the people that work on this side only make food for people that come inside and this side is normally what I stay on I make food for the drive through now let's go around on this side here we have the broiler machine here. This is where we uh, take meat out of this here, the cooler, and we slide it in there, and it broils it. There's actual fire in there, so that's how that cooks the meat. We have the uh, first drive-through window here with the register there, and this is the ice machine where we get ice out and we fill up our I ice machines and stuff like that. So coming around this way, we have our ovens. This is where we do our cookies, biscuits, and stuff. Here's our microwave. And coming around this way, this is where we... Uh, there's another microwave here with another screen here. This screen is also for the drive through and the front counter. So people that work on this side have it kind of rough. This side here is where all the fish and chicken is made. And these two here are only hamburgers. Alright, now coming around this way, this is the egg cooker and some more coolers, and this is the prep table. So you kind of see what I've done here. Here's another little sink. Now, this is where we wash our vegetables in that sink there. This is the office. So if we come inside here, we have a little laptop there with our safe in the wall there. Didn't have much room to work with, and that's really how small it is in real life. Now right here we have the freezer and we'll go in there in, in just a second. Right here we have a uh, sink that we wash our hands and this is a bug zapper. Yeah, I know we have a bug zapper in the kitchen but the flies and stuff, any restaurant's going to have, they attract to it and it zaps them, zaps them dead. So coming around this side is the stock area where we you know put boxes and stuff our storage and we have lockers here for people that have purses and stuff and this is our training um, module where we do our videos on there to get training on how to do things here is another little storage area and here's a ladder that goes up on the roof and that's exactly how I like to escape sometimes I climb up on the roof sometimes so Let's go in here. This is the little storage area again, a little kind of broiler room. Uh, that's pretty simple there. So we come out of there, and this here is the uh, electrical board where the breakers and stuff are, and this is the mop sink where all the mops and brooms hang up in here. Now, this is the back door coming out, and yeah, guys, this is pretty cool and I went ahead and done some floor mats right here on all of the entrances so you guys can go ahead and do that so let's go ahead and go into the freezer real quick so this is the cooler 
right here and that's the freezer so you you have to go through the cooler to get to the freezer I know it's kind of weird but that's really how it is so that's the freezer there and this is the cooler so let's go ahead and get out of here now so hopefully you guys all enjoy this all right guys now as you see I've done the outside I've done the drive through I've done the speaker box all that stuff over there but before we go over there and show you how I've done it I really want to show you how I have all this set up now, all this is set up pretty much just like in real life and also over here I how I done the sign I used sand I used the red concrete used the snow for like mayonnaise I used yellow concrete for like mustard and I used the green concrete powder for like lettuce pickle whatever and I used some wood logs for the meat and I think it looks pretty cool so yeah guys let me know what you think of that and over here I got some bushes some trees just outlining this whole building here over here I have some handicapped parking some more parking here and over here is the drive through got a car coming through right here and right here is the menu board you guys can pretty much build it just by looking at it right here I hope that you all enjoyed this tutorial guys and if you did like this tutorial please let me know down below let me know if you guys are gonna build this thank you so much for watching guys and I'll see you all next time